Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video we will have a look at the ETS magazine uh, for Glock, in this case, in a black color. Uh, recently they apparently did start to manufacture uh, black magazines. So uh, I was wondering how that uh, looks. So we all know ETS mainly from the clear polymer uh, see-through magazines that they make for quite some years now. X different version. This one is for a Glock uh, 43, but uh, they make it for X different uh, firearms uh, in a, even a long versions like the, the black one. That's just an example how that usually looks uh, that you with the clear magazine that you see the ammunition inside. Uh, they for a while at least it also a red one and a blue one the blue one i don't have but uh, this red one was uh, on sale so i got that because you still see the ammunition inside too and now the black one the by the black uh, you don't see the ammunition inside i guess uh, some people requested to have a, a black one and uh, it was on sale uh, this is the clock the regular uh, Glock version uh, in uh, 30, 32 uh, rounds, as best as I uh, see. The item comes in this packaging, it's just the, the standard packaging, it's made in USA. And all that, there we have some more information from ETS and their advanced uh, polymer. So I wanted to have a look uh, about it. So what I don't like is the shininess. That's amazing, but uh, that is because they use the same mold like the clear ones. So they they just have the, the smoothness and the shininess uh, like it would be a regular uh, clear polymer one. And uh, that is how that is. So quite likely I'm gonna paint the uh, part of it, the, the part that sticks out of the magwell, so that we get at least uh, a little bit uh, shininess less. Uh, we see the floor plate is matte black, like the, the usual ones. Now some people had problems with ETS magazines. Uh, I only had one magazine that I got uh, that had a, a spring inside that was kinked from the factory, that, I mean that can happen, they did uh, send me a new spring relatively fast and that is already yeah, minimum four years ago, if not five. So that magazine since then works uh, pretty good too. Uh, is it as good as a Glock factory magazine? I would say uh, rather not because uh, the, the quality, the fit and feel uh, of it, uh, the, the steel lining and all that is simply not there. On the other side it's advanced uh, polymer, so it's sure not uh, bad. Uh, for uh, The main use for such magazine for me is uh, for test uh, the different firearms out uh, to save on the, on the wear and tear of the Glock magazine. And surprisingly I never had much uh, failure to feed or other problems that uh, would be related to the magazine. Uh, so ETS works for me, but of course it's not a quality like a factory clock magazine. That is just how it is. So that much about the new all black version of the ETS magazine. 